Yeah, sure enough, you can see where this is getting hung up. It's getting split. So that's that's obviously what's what's happening. It's getting caught. So I wasn't able to push the lubricant fluid directly into the conduit. What I'm gonna do is put it right on top of this and over the cable to hope hopefully that'll make it slide through better. And sure enough, that allowed it to work. So it's now come all the way through. You can see it getting pulled through from there. It's a little bit messy, which is why I don't usually like to use it, but hey, it's better than having to get the cable through there another way. Incidentally, I don't know if you remember, but this trailing end was sticking a lot farther out from the tape when I first taped it together. So you can see how much it pulled against the tape when I was trying to pull the cable through. So I'm really glad that I gave it some extra slack there and then backed it back out and, and tried again with the lubricant because otherwise I would have had to pull the cable puller out one side and the cable out the other and start all over. One other thing to note is you can tell that it's putting stress on the cable. I don't know if it, that's going to show up very well, but you can see that the, there it is. The cable housing has actually pulled the head of the wire itself. And that's because of the stress that we put on the cable. We're obviously putting the stress on the jacket. That's what we're pulling on. And the, the wires themselves are retreated inside the jacket because of that. That's normal, but just be aware that that happens. And there might be times when you have to be extra careful because maybe you're using a different type of wire or what have you.